The United Kingdom has been recently under a lot of fire and criticism for building one of the world's biggest mega nuclear power plants. And while it will take a couple more years to complete, half of Europe is not happy with it. So what is with this new mega nuclear power plant? What is its purpose and when will it be completed? Stick to the end of the video to find out. And if you like more mega project videos like these, subscribe to our channel because you won't regret it. In the heart of Somerset, with beautiful rivers and rolling hills, there's a big mega project that has slowly been progressing throughout these years. This project is called the Hinkley Point C Nuclear Power Station, or just HPC as we will refer to throughout the video. It is an ambitious project that is supposed to be completed in the next two decades and would potentially provide low carbon electricity for future generations to come. To kick things off, HPC is a 3200 megawatt electrical ERP nuclear power station that is under construction in Somerset, England. It was announced by the British government back in 2010, and in 2012, a nuclear site license was also granted to the project. After years of progress in the site, in July 2016, the EDF board approved the project with the UK government, approving it on 15 September 2016. The project is financed by EDF Energy and China General Nuclear Power Group. However, since 2017, the project has faced many challenges right after it was approved. From various criticisms, delays, and budget overruns to the pandemic that turned the economy upside down, things haven't been easy for the HBC project. But now, we have seen some new progress and news that might blow everyone's mind. There has been change in plans that are giving us hope that this project might not be that far off in the future, let alone getting abandoned like many other mega projects. However, before talking about these details, let's discover the construction of HBC and what plans do developers have in mind. This ambitious project, the first full-scale nuclear power station to be built in the UK in over two decades, is set to become a major source of low-carbon electricity for generations to come. The sheer scale of HBC is exciting and quite surprising. Each reactor building, measuring an astonishing 140 meters tall and 50 meters wide, will house a massive reactor pressure vessel, capable of generating enough electricity to power around 6 million homes. The supporting infrastructure, including the turbine hall, cooling towers, and extensive security measures further contributes to the plant's imposing presence. However, making a mega project like this isn't easy. It took over 10,000 workers across various industries to have built a project like this, and it is still far from being completed. The site has evolved into a hive of activity, pulsating with the movement of cranes lifting massive components, welders creating precise welds, and engineers meticulously planning and executing every step. The project has also embraced cutting-edge technologies, employing remote-controlled robots for hazardous tasks and utilizing advanced 3D modeling for construction planning. Moreover, the construction process has been meticulously planned and executed, ensuring that safety remains the first priority. The site is rigorously monitored with multiple layers of protection in place to safeguard workers, the environment, and the surrounding community. Regular safety drills and simulations ensure that everyone is prepared to respond promptly and effectively in the event of any potential hazards. However, so far, the construction has faced a plethora of challenges ever since the nuclear reactor's emergence in the world. The construction of HPC has involved a myriad of complex challenges requiring a combination of expertise, resourcefulness, and adaptability. The excavation of the reactor building's massive foundations necessitated the removal of significant amounts of soil, carefully ensuring the integrity of the underlying geology and minimizing environmental impact. Then, we have the installation of the reactor pressure vessels, each weighing an impressive 485 metric tons, involving the utilization of the world's largest land-based crane, affectionately nicknamed Big Carl. This colossal machine carefully lifted the vessels into place, 
ensuring their precise alignment and stability within the reactor buildings. Being a project that is under the British government, you know technology would be at the forefront. The construction of HPC has also relied heavily on the latest technologies. Remote-controlled robots have been employed for tasks involving radiation exposure or confined spaces, enhancing safety while ensuring efficient completion of these critical operations. Moreover, advanced 3D modeling techniques have been utilized to create a digital replica of the plant, enabling engineers to simulate various scenarios and optimize construction processes. As the construction of HPC progresses, the plant is becoming quite popular and noticeable. A lot of regular people have started talking about it too. The reactor buildings, now in their final stages of completion, stand tall against the backdrop of the Somerset landscape. With each passing milestone, the realization of HPC draws closer, promising to deliver a reliable source of low-carbon electricity for the UK. The project's completion will mark a significant step towards the nation's commitment to achieving net-zero emissions by 2050, demonstrating the role of nuclear power in a sustainable energy mix. At first, the project seemed close to 2028 if there were no delays. But now, with a lot of delays and problems like that, we are seeing a delay which would put the project in further delay, and it might take two more decades to be completed. In July 2022, EDF informed everyone that the project would be put forth to further delay, and it will start continuing in 2028. While it isn't too far, why did it get delayed in the first place? Aside from the pandemic delays, the construction of HPC has involved complex engineering challenges, and the project has experienced several technical issues. These issues have ranged from well defects in reactor pressure vessels to problems with the installation of control systems. Resolving these technical challenges has required additional time and resources. The UK construction industry has faced labor shortages in recent years, and HPC has been impacted by this shortage. The project has had difficulty recruiting and retaining skilled workers, which has slowed down construction activities. Lastly, inflation has increased the cost of construction materials and labor, putting upward pressure on HPC's budget. The project's original cost estimate of £24.5 billion has ballooned to over 32 billion pounds, making it one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in UK history. The delay in the completion of HPC has raised concerns about the UK's ability to meet its energy needs and decarbonization goals. However, EDF Energy remains committed to delivering the project and believes that the long-term benefits of low-carbon electricity generation outweigh the short-term challenges. Speaking of challenges, what are some of the criticisms the project has been facing? You will be stunned to find out. Despite its potential contributions to the UK's energy security and decarbonisation goals, HPC has not been without its critics. The project has been the subject of heated debates, with concerns raised about its high cost, safety, and the environmental impact of its construction and operation. So far, people have been saying that the project is becoming something it has sworn to destroy, which is bad for the environment. The estimated construction cost of HPC has been a major point of contention. The initial estimate of 24.5 billion pounds has ballooned to over 32 billion pounds, making it one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in UK history. Critics argue that this exorbitant cost could burden taxpayers with excessive energy bills for decades to come. Safety concerns have also been raised, particularly in the wake of recent nuclear accidents in Japan and Ukraine. The EPR reactor design used at HBC has faced criticism for its complexity and the potential for safety-related delays or incidents. Additionally, the proximity of HPC to densely populated areas has raised concerns about the potential for radiation exposure in the event of an accident. But at this point, we all know the source of all the debate, which is the environment itself. The construction of HPC has required the removal of significant amounts of soil, impacting local habitats and ecosystems. 
The cooling towers, designed to dissipate excess heat, will also emit steam, which could affect local air quality. Additionally, the disposal of radioactive waste remains a contentious issue. Right now, the project has been delayed to 2028 due to all the challenges it has faced. The company is taking a step back to replan for any future crises to come and how they can keep the project going despite the high budget requirements. However, one thing is for sure, the completion of the HPC project will be a big milestone for the UK's energy landscape. The power reactor would generate low-carbon and reliable electricity that might become the next big thing in Europe and the rest of the world. What do you think about the HPC project? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe for future mega-project videos like these.